Okay, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuickPrediction.com here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.19 in the evening on Wednesday, February 17th, Thursday, February 17th, 2021. And we're going to give you an update here from QuakePrediction.com. All right, first we're going to start with uh, the quakes that have, uh, the most significant quakes during the last 24 hours. And you can see from QuakePrediction.com, we have a new format. So we had a 5.5 and a 4.8 during the last 24 hours in this area here. Uh, uh, northwest of Athens and northeast of Zakynthos, which is right here. We have this forecast city in our forecast, and we have Athens as well. And it hit just northeast of Zakynthos and northwest of Athens. And the other quake was over in Taiwan. This was a 5.1. Let's look at our forecast. This is the forecast we had for... Um, uh, for the 16th of February, we have the Japan one over here. This is the California forecast. And this is the world forecast. And those significant quakes, the 5.1 and 5.5 occurred. Uh, this one in Taiwan, the risk was at 63%. And the risk in uh, Zakynthos, Zakynthos, Greece was 92%. So the largest quake that occurred in the last 24 hours was in uh, this 92% risk area, which is, uh, and then uh, the, the Taiwan quake, the 5.1 hit when it was, the risk was at 63%. So um, we're going to give you an update every day on the, where the significant earthquakes occurred in our forecast um, uh, analysis here. And you can see the higher the risk, the greater the uh, chance of a larger earthquake. And uh, we're going to go over to our actual forecast now. So that was for yesterday. This is for today now, uh, for the next 24 hours. Actually, I was looking at some of the other models, and it looks like tomorrow, the 18th, we have a very strong uh, trigger. So uh, I think that the quake that we've been waiting for the last couple of weeks should hit and these are the most likely places for it to hit. Most likely in Mammoth Lakes, which is in East Central California. And the second most likely would be Eureka. But I'm thinking uh, Mammoth Lakes to Ridgecrest is the most likely spot. And then Bakersfield is uh, third. And then Ontario, California. So most likely in East Central California between Mammoth Lakes and Ridgecrest, looking for a strong 6.0 earthquake or larger during the next about 36 hours. And a quick look at the uh, Santa, um, Santa Maria risk level was at 90% uh, here on the 16th. And you look at today's and it's dropped down to 50%. Uh, they did get a 2.7 when the risk was up at 90%. Uh, they got a 2.7 northeast of Santa Maria. So now let's look at the, uh, the world forecast here. And you can see Zakynthos risk level has dropped to 84%. It was at 92%. Athens dropped to 83%. Crete is at 81%. And the highest risk right now is in Italy. And uh, somewhere in uh, central or north Italy, we're looking for a significant earthquake here. And most likely, um, somewhere in central Italy, a strong earthquake is likely during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. This here is in Cyprus. The risk is also very high in Cyprus, Larnaca, Cyprus, which is uh, south of uh, Turkey. Larnaca is in the country of uh, Cyprus. And uh, Crete is also uh, very high. Greece is still very high risk, 84 and 83. Those were 90 and 92%. Uh, that risk has dropped slightly. And Anchorage is at 70%, but uh, looks like a uh, significant earthquake in northern, um, from Bologna, Italy, even over to Zagreb, Croatia. There's a very high risk in that area, in northern Italy. All right, let's go look at the uh, Japan forecast uh, just briefly here. 
and uh, the very high risk in uh, the Kyoto, which is in Osaka, that area, which is uh, in west western uh, Japan. Uh, Kyoto is just north of Os Osaka, and Tutori is uh, northwest of Kyoto. So this is in western Japan. Looks like the risk is very high there as well. Once more, we'll look at the Los Angeles forecast here. Um, the highest risk appears to be in East Central California. So that uh, strong trigger tomorrow should trigger a, a 6.0 earthquake or larger in the Mammoth Lakes to Ridgecrest to Bakersfield, possibly on the Garlock Fault, but most likely in uh, the Mammoth Lakes area during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And it's gonna take a while to get used to this uh, new format, but um, we're gonna give you an update every day like we just did with the 5.1 and the 5.5 earthquake that hit in Greece. We'll show you where the, uh, the risk level at which they hit and where they hit. And uh, this format is the most exciting uh, so far. So we're, uh, we're gonna move into this during the next uh, week or two. We'll keep you updated every day. Uh, but uh, the highest risk right now in, in Japan, like I said, was in uh, Tottori and Kyoto. And the highest risk in Italy is in northern Italy near Bologna and Zagreb, Croatia. And the risk in uh, Greece is more down near uh, Cyprus right now, uh, just south of Turkey in the country of Larnaca, Cyprus. Uh, again, Mammoth Lakes to Ridgecrest, looking for a strong earthquake during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And it's uh, peaking tomorrow evening. So we should have uh, a strong earthquake in East Central California during the next 24 to 36 hours. We will talk to you again tomorrow. And uh, thank you so much for following. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot.